I finally broke down and purchased a curling wand. Usually when I would do curls like this, I would just use my flat iron, but I decided to purchase a Hot Tools Nano Ceramic Tapered Curling Iron. This iron is designed to seal the cuticle and eliminate frizz, leaving your hair soft and shiny. The surface of the iron allows your hair to glide effortlessly across the barrel. A couple other features I like are that it has temperature control up to 450 degrees and it included a heat resistant glove. To finish my style, I will use Chi Deep Brilliance Reflect and Kara Care Edge Tamer and a soft bore bristle brush. To begin this style, I did a blowout and separated it into multiple sections so that I could more easily grab pieces of hair to wrap around the curling wand. curling wand set at 450 degrees, the same as I would set it on my flat iron. I have high density hair and I want to make sure that the heat is able to penetrate all of the strands to make the curls silky and smooth. As always, you should use your best judgment about what temperature to set the curling wand on according to your hair type. As I am using this wand, I notice that the curls come out with better shape and more uniformity when I firmly wrap the hair around the iron. Also notice that I am wrapping the hair completely to my ends and holding it with my fingers. If you are not comfortable doing this with your bare fingers, use the heat resistant glove that comes with the iron. In the front, make sure you are wrapping each piece of hair from the root to ensure that you have the same texture of curl all the way to the end.
Now that I've finished all of my curls, I'm going to use a little chi oil and coat my hands and distribute it throughout my hair. Now I'm going to glide my fingers through all of the curls to evenly separate them. I love sleek, neat edges, so I'm going to use Kara Care Edge Tamer and my soft bore bristle brush to smooth my edges into the curls. I'm using a little more Chi Oil to continue to smooth and fluff my style. To create even more volume, I'm going to use a wide tooth comb and further separate the curls. This step is up to you. You can use your fingers, or a comb, or both like I have here. I was able to get two full days of wear out of these curls with no touch-ups. At night, I separated large chunks and wrapped them around in Bantu-like knots and secured them with bob pins and then fluffed in the morning. For more information, visit monoshair.com.